okay. 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 Lights! Um, Kim, did you want the lights off for some reason? Yes, I want the lights okay, off! It's still just you and me here in the studio, Kim. You turn off that side, I'll turn off this side. Oh, okay. Okay, Kim. Um, I don't get it. It's live bright! Bright lights, live bright for Jesus! I, yeah, okay, yeah. I get it now? <laughs> oh, Kim. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Cassandra. And I'm Kim. And welcome to Central, Central Kids, Kids TV. And this month, we're talking about how trusting and following Jesus changes the way we treat others. And how we shine the light of Jesus. Well, yeah. So, I have something for us to do today that will help everyone see how we shine the light of Jesus. Okay, and does it have to do with these black lights you brought out for us? Yes! So, see, right here, uh -huh. I have glow-in-the-dark paint. Oh, okay. Glow-in-the-dark paint. Yes. Okay. So, we are going to put this on, and then we'll shine. We'll shine in the dark. Okay. We just paint it on? Yes, we just paint it okay, on. let's go. So, when do we see the paint actually light up, Kim? Like, do we need to, like, go outside and get some sun rays on them or something? No, nothing. Okay. That's what this special, these special lights are for. Oh. Lights! Again, Kim, it's just you and me in the studio turning off the lights. Let's go turn oh, off the lights. Oh, okay. Let's turn off the lights. Ready? <gasps> Kim! Wow! Look okay. at us! We're glowing! We glow in the dark! I get it, Liv. Right! Liv! Now Yay! it's time for the story before the story. <laughs> the story before the story. Today, we're in the book of John, one of the four gospels that tells about the life of Jesus. John was one of Jesus' closest friends, right in the middle of everything. John wrote down what he saw and heard to help us understand who Jesus truly is. The Son of God. John recorded these stories in a really cool way. He shared about several signs or miracles that Jesus did. And John also wrote down specific things that Jesus said about himself, what we call the I am phrases. Which is where our story starts. Take it away. Today we're going to dive into something incredible that Jesus said. But first, we're going to go back to an earlier time. See, John didn't start his story of Jesus with the manger. And shepherds. And angels. John began with the very, very beginning. John wrote that God created everything in the whole universe through Jesus. From before the dawn of time, Jesus has been the source of all life and light. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not overcome the light. Light shows up throughout God's story. Hundreds of years before Jesus was born as a baby, Isaiah wrote of a bright light to come. The people who are now living in darkness will see a great light. They are now living in a very dark land, but a light will shine on them. And when Jesus was born, God's people were still waiting or the light. Many of them expected a strong king who would defeat their enemies in a blaze of glory. But Jesus arrives as a tiny baby. He grew up as a humble carpenter. As Jesus began to travel and teach, he started to shine God's light in a very different way. In John, we read how Jesus turned water into the very best wine so a wedding celebration could continue. He spent time with people who were considered outcasts and showed them God's love. Jesus healed a man who had been sick and unable to walk for 38 years. Jesus fed more than 5,000 people using just five loaves and two fish. I mean, that's the multiplier of 5,000. Mm -hmm. He even walked on water. All of these signs began to paint a picture of 
who Jesus is. Anytime that Jesus saw a need, he did something about it. But the religious leaders, they weren't happy about Jesus. He was changing the way they'd always done things. And he didn't back down when they challenged him. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Anyone who follows me will never walk in darkness. They will have that light. They will have life. I am the light of the world. Jesus was telling the religious leaders and everybody else that he is God's rescuer, sent to bring light to a dark world. So what does it mean for us that Jesus is the light of the world? Well, when it's dark, yikes! You don't know which way to go. It's confusing. You might bump into a wall or walk right over the edge of a cliff. We need light so we can see the path ahead and know where to go. Jesus brings light to guide us in the right direction. We need Jesus to help make wise choices. The light that Jesus brings can also help us grow. Just like a plant needs light to thrive, we need God's light to show the places where we could grow to become more like Jesus. But even more than guiding us and helping us grow, the light of Jesus meets our greatest need. See, we've all done things that hurt others and break our relationship with God. This is called sin, and we can't fix it on our own. It's like living in the dark. But Jesus came to take the consequences of our sin and bring us back to a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. When we turn away from the wrong things we've done and choose to follow Jesus, it's as if he shines a bright light into our hearts and our lives. As Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Anyone who follows me will never walk in darkness. They will have light. They will have life. Jesus is the light of the world. Huh, I love that word picture. This has been a light bulb moment. Get it? Light bulb? There's nothing so dark that Jesus can't bring light to it. And we all need light in our lives. Every single one of us has done wrong things that has hurt others and break our relationship with God. And we can't fix that. But God saw our need and sent Jesus to be light in our darkness. When we choose to follow Jesus, we can live with God forever. It's the most amazing show of compassion ever. And compassion is caring enough to do something about someone else's needs. God met our greatest need, and we don't just need the light of Jesus one time. We need it over and over and over again every day mm -hmm. in our lives. When you face a tough decision and don't know which way to go, you can ask Jesus for wisdom. To shed a little light on things, you can also ask God to show you where you need to change to become more like Jesus. Like growing in kindness or patience. Mm. I think I could use a little light in those places for sure. I think we all can. Today's big idea is Jesus is the light of the world. That's all for today, friends. We'll see you next time on Central Kids TV. Bye, Bye. everyone. Have a great week. <laughs> I love this stuff. I know it's fun. Lip right.